Vegas, Nevada. So with that being said, about to jump back into some more Smash 4 action. Now, if you guys are just tuning in, you missed a Japan on Japan bloodshed. Yuzu versus Raito, man. Really, really hurt to watch. But it was Raito who uh, ran away with that. Yep. Go show. Can't pop off too early, man. Can't. Yeah, came back with those trick shots. But now we're going to be jumping into switching gears a bit. We got Kameme coming out from Japan as well, rocking the Mega Man, fighting against Diablo's Ryu. Now, we watched a little bit of gameplay from Diablo last night on stream. We did, yeah. Yeah, 6 to 8 p.m. block, and uh, pretty devastating Ryu out here, man. Like, he is uh, from uh, Utah. That's right. One, one of the top Utah players out there, traveling all the way to Utah to try to make a name for himself. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know what, Kamehameha has definitely traveled farther. Utah slowly but surely on the rise here, but if there's ever a if there's ever a stage here to put your uh, your hometown on the map, it's certainly evil, man. But, you know, that's certainly a task easier said than done because right now Ryu has to face off against his Capcom brethren here. Yep. The legendary Mega Man, courtesy of Kamehameha. He's looking really good. And third party versus third party. You notice know, so there's already a lot of damage being connected into Diablo. You already have a 95%. You're just waiting for a sidestep. A roll before committing to that grab. You, to you'll notice, he'll do this a lot with the Metal Blade, right? He'll try to go for that Z-drop on the edge just in case Diablo gets a little antsy and gives back to the stage a little bit too soon. Mm -hmm. Just okay. there, they're waiting for him. It allows him to set up into whatever. Anytime he tries to go for a follow-up, mm -hmm. there are the lemons. Pellets keeping him at bay. Try yeah. to drop the try to Z drop the gear. Okay. Oh, double jump out of up here. That's super dangerous. Mm -hmm. If you're a little bit too close to the ceiling, it's gonna catch you, but you know he's gonna catch him with that back air. Nice stuff coming from Kamehameha. That's right. Okay. Now we got Diablo coming back in, trying to get some damage going against him. But you know, Kamehameha, you remember, you remember his little performance from EVO 2016. That was like his you know, daybreak performance. But you know what? We're still living here with the Leaf Shield. Yeah, man. He's uh, he's certainly been making a name for himself. And that's one thing I really love about the Japanese players. Like They come over here, and then like uh, every so often, like one of the players over there, they have like a, a few months stint where like they are just fear. Like nobody wants to play them in bracket. And then like America figures some stuff out, and they were like, OK. We got it now. Yeah, we got it now. It's all good. Okay, shooting off some lemons. Trying to get attack on some more damage. Just catches the Metal Blade back at him. Ooh. Again, here come the more up airs. Throws the Metal Blade towards him. Actually gets it in hand. Sure you gets him himself. That was actually really good because he knew that he wouldn't be able to toss out an aerial since he had the gear in his hand. So he tossed out the up tilt. Oh, but he said my uppercut's a little bit better than yours. Tatsumaku, man. Tatsumaki. Yes. Tatsumaku? Tatsum. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, was that Tatsu? I thought, thought that was uh, Heavy Up Smash. Okay. It was oh, it might have been. <clears throat> Regardless, 115% on his final stock gets the z Oh! No, 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 no! It wasn't supposed to go down like that. What the? I think it was, but he th except for the back air was supposed to land. Even Diablo's like, hey, man. I mean, Kamehameha was so sure that he was going to land that back air. I guess he, he just expended both of his double jumps. Didn't think he was going to... Thought he was going to, like, live. Didn't get rushed out in time, man. You see Kamehameha's face? He's like, really? It that, just, that actually happened, man. He's like, really, dog? <laughs> You really just gonna take that. Right, here we go. That was going into game two. You see Diablo shaking his head at that. Okay. Back to Smashville again. Oh, okay, I like that. Fall, falling for it right off the yep. platform. Put some okay. big damage on board here. And, see, and, yep. and, one, and one thing that, you know, Kamehameha is really like doing a phenomenal job is, is like using the limits obviously to bust up the focus attack, but also not trading blow for blow with Ryu because that's something a, a bad habit that a lot of players get into they probably feel like okay you know he's putting on damage I'm putting on damage but then you end up at like that 80% range and it's like okay I still got some more damage to put on before I can KO you where Ryu's like I got you where I want you you know what I mean and that's exactly where Mega Man wanted him dog he got that Z drop into the Shoryuken that he's been looking for the entire set got to connect against Diablo that's right he's definitely looking to make a name here because now he realizes, okay, I'm already down a game. I kind of played my ass off in that first match. I got to really, really dig deeper to try to close this one out and quickly as possible. Only at 48% too. Oh, going to jump over that little metal blade coming his way. Tries to catch him on the falling downwards. That's right. Okay, gets the backer right up off the ledge. Create himself some space. And that's one thing I, I can't say about Kamehameha. You know, a lot of what he does is to make sure that he keeps the gear in hand. Anytime he feels like you're trying to outplay him or if you're trying to take the gear away from him, He's, you're going to see the back airs come out. Again, applying a lot of pressure with the pellets. Has him at 83% already. Definitely already overlapped him. Trying to go for the Z-drop Metal Blade again. Mm -hmm. See if he can get the kill this time around. Mm -hmm. Throwing it into his face. Ooh. You see all that hit stun from that back air. Such a meaty back air. Yeah, hits like a ton of bricks. Oh, he was, he was trying to get something going with the Metal Blade himself. You cannot trade a real. Yeah, he most certainly was. I don't want to say it's too little too late for him. Okay, there's another back air. Not going to be quite enough to do it. The World Warrior, pretty heavy guy, if I may say so. 
Okay, Ooh. goes deep. There's the back air. A double back air. Trying to use the Tatsu to get back onto the stage. Nah. Connects the back air on the platform. That's going to be one stock apiece. But here's the thing. We saw this previously. And then Kamehameha, I mean, obviously I'm sure he learned from that. He can easily just go for a safe kill. Go for the back air on stage. Mm -hmm. Okay, rolls back on. Sander stays this time. Knows he has a lot of ground to make up. But I got to say, man, one or two conversions here from Rio. He'll be back into the money. But doesn't even get the opportunity. Kamehameha nah. closing out with that perfectly placed back and we move right into game number three yeah, the jv2 stock man he got that back here on the ledge jump good punish coming from him and definitely adapting I mean, that, that that was pretty much similar to game number one in my opinion it, it just minus the sd there is no time versus ryu where you should be ever playing comfortable or, or where you should ever feel like i got this yeah from start to finish you he need can to be elbow like, you at any time that's right from start to finish you need to be like i gotta close this out you know like you got 150 percent even when you're at zero and what's interesting about Diablo's play style is that we haven't seen too much of the elbow move coming out, which is like the try and true we see from other Ryu's, like, say, Locus. Yeah, he's more focused on, like, going blow for blow in the neutral, which isn't necessarily a bad thing with Ryu, but you don't want to show your hand too early fighting in the neutral because Mega Man has the tools needed to bust up focus mm -hmm. attack, and that's one of his strongest options in getting in. Okay. Okay, again, when he finds him above him, that up air is a multi-hit attack, so he can't rely on focus to land back down onto the ground, and, you know, Kamehameha is going to take that for all it's worth. Double forward air. Pulling down the ledge. Oh, get up attack. Okay, bit of a risky option there from Kamehameha. Diablo will take all Yo. that damage. Oh, Ooh, speaking of the elbow, Saul finally coming into action there on the edge of the stage as we see a little bit of momentum shifting into Diablo's favor. Oh, no, the focus attack. He thought he was going to go for a normal get up. Big reads. Throwing out that up air to try to get as much damage as possible with the backers. Has him at 77% already. That's right. Some more pelts coming his way. Back throw. Okay, keeping him off stage, and I like that. I think he's understanding that maybe Diablo is getting really uh, comfortable here in the matchup. He's figuring out a way to kind of get in between him and his projectile pressure. So with that being said, let me figure out a way to keep you just off stage then. Ooh, gets the trump. Tried to follow up with the back air as well, but we see Diablo just air dodging into the ground. The platform saving his life a little bit. Yeah. 105%. Tries to go for the raw Shoryuken in case Kamehameha got a little aggressive. Just catches the roll, just runs up to him, just faking out a defensive option. Metal Blade, no dice. Tries to cross him up with the back air against the shield. Can't seem to get something going here. Oh, Lands my goodness. down with the aerial into Shore. You can Diablo stock away from moving on to semifinals. That's right. You ask, you shall receive, man. Diablo certainly getting it all started here. And there was a Utah chant in the background, I heard. Yeah, Utah, they come out, man. They like the support. Okay. Outmaneuvering the pellets. I like it. Gear back in hand. Cross him up there's the back air. Yeah. Still not going to be enough to do it. Yeah. Tatsu's his way out of the micro, uh, the magnifying glass, excuse me. Yeah, and Diablo is looking for a back air himself against him. And trying to push it, apply some pressure against the shield. Oh my god, Kamehameha's just going to jump above that. I mean, even if he landed a spike, that wouldn't have killed, but it would have him in a very bad spot. This classic Metal Blade into back air. Just get that kill off. Okay, now can Diablo. Di can Diablo do this here? We're starting to see him get a little bit more sure you happy. I think that's something that Kamehameha might have forgot about. I hope, I hope that's not the case. There's a back throw, though. Down throw, back air that time, yeah. no forwarder. Gets so much off of the Metal Blade. Elbow uh -oh. actions, <gasps> looking for the spike. I think the Metal Blade was, he didn't want that. Yeah, he didn't want it, man. That's the second time we've seen that in this set. Gets the upper right into the back air, though. Doesn't get all the hits, but at least enough here to put some damage online. Trying to find his way back down to the stage. Kamehameha just keeping him airborne as long as possible. Trying to find his footing. Down there, spikes him into the ground. Goes for the shore, you can afterwards and gets the kill. Diablo sending Kamehameha into losers, and he is popping off. He did it. He did it. The Utah chants are coming out. Look at him go nuts in the background. And there's just one thing you always got to think about. Like, congratulations to Diablo actually pulling that off. But that, that game one is always going to haunt Kamehameha, you know? I...